Hello everyone, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your daily tarot reading. It will be for the 4th of May 2021 for all signs. I normally have a day off over the weekend, um, so it won't resonate with everybody. Just take what resonates with you. The reading can resonate from now till a few days, okay, from when it's released. Okay, so what do we have for these angel spirits guides? What is the message people need to hear the most? And it will be for... Tuesday the 4th of May 2021 please message people need to hear oh that's lovely trust you're being asked to trust you're being watched over trust things are going to work out there is a higher power here there's definitely a higher power okay so let's pull some cards and see what we get what do we have please angels spirits guides what is the message people need to hear the most for those of you who are interested this is the angel answer deck and i'm using the tarot of dreams with the oracle of the fairies at the end okay what do we have for 4th of may 2021 please what do people need to hear the most that flew out interesting it came out more reverse than upright actually um Magician, the star, nine of pentacles, yeah, kind of figured that, <laughs> nine of swords, I understand that, I know what that is, the star energy, seven of cups, nine of coins, wow, you see, yeah, knight of coins with the nine of coins and the moon the higher power energy the it's a lovely lovely energy here oh gorgeous so you see this card and i i do like it for the nine of swords because swords are all about our mind how we perceive things our thought patterns um where we place our our focus our mental acuity and it's negative in this situation the negative is dominating your mind to the point where it's destructive. It can destroy your routine, destroy your focus, destroy sleep patterns, you know, where you, everything is blown out of perspective and this person is imagining the monster, you know, the hand of the monster coming out. And obviously it's not reality. This person, even though there's a reason to feel this way with a nine of swords, it's based in fact, there's a reason why you feel this way. It is somebody who is so much in their own head, they can't see the wood for the trees. And there's always a need to get perspective when this card appears, because it's almost kind of like your mind is your worst enemy, it's blowing things out of proportion to your detriment. And it is to your detriment because, you know, we know the magician is all about manifestation. What is it that you want to change in your life? Certainly, I feel this is money and career because now is the time to change it. There's real promise around you. Real promise in this reading. Um, you have all the resources that you need. You know, we have the cup, the sword, the pentacle, the wand, all the natural elements of the world um, at the disposal of the magician. He can use his talent, resourcefulness, abilities to really manifest his, his, his focus, what he focuses on, the one thing he wants to change. Um, and know that he's within his power to change it. There's always an acceptance with a magician that there are things that you can't control, but there are certainly things that you can. And this is about taking control of something that is really, really playing to the detriment of you, you know? Something is controlling your mind here, you know, uh, preying on your mind to the point where you're not seeing things clearly and you're forgetting your own power. Because when we focus on everything that's going on out there and how it affects us, we forget to connect to our core power. Um, so there's a kind of reevaluation here because this is about untapped magic. You're not tapping into the magic of you. As you focus on the monsters, whatever is the monster in this situation, you're not focusing on what you're capable of and it's stopping you. It's a block. So 
So we have choices, decisions maybe, but there is an energy here that you have more options than you realise. But while you're in this, this mental state, you're not seeing them. You know, there's real promise around you. Transformation, deep transformation with the Seven of Cups energy. Um, there are doors to open here. This is to do with focus on new hopes, dreams and wishes. Because for some of you, you can make one of them happen. This is divine wish fulfillment. This is a blessing that if you focus on your hopes, dreams and wishes, there are blessings on that journey, on that path. Whatever your choice is, whatever decision that you have, you know, now sometimes I see this as online as well, you know, online opportunity and, um, you know, it might well be for some of you that there are more options than you realise. It, it feels you're looking at something in a specific way and there's a need to reevaluate how you're looking at something. I mean, the star is an enlightened energy. It is a card of visions as well. A card of seeing the big picture, opening your mind, a higher perspective as well. It's air energy. So to do with the mind again, and there's definitely an energy here. If, if you open your mind, you will see what the universe is trying to bring into you because you're being watched over. It might well be that you have to think of something, for example, and I'm not just saying it's, it's this, but, you know, if there is a specific industry that you've always worked in, it might well be how you take your skills and experience and apply it to a different industry if the current one is not employing. Um, you know, it might well be for some of you how you transfer skills to a kind of different you know, role or whatever, you know, I mean, it, it can just be how do I make the right choices to, 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 to bring in success. And it feels to do with monetary success in terms of the nine of pentacles. And it, it feels the universe is saying there are opportunities around you. There's promise around you. Yeah. The moon. Yeah is lack of clarity. It's a card of, you don't see the big picture, um, but the universe does. And it's blessing you, guiding you. It's a card of hidden blessings. But this is also to do with whatever choice you make, whatever decision that you make, whatever actions that you're taking to focus on new hopes, dreams and wishes. This is about really trusting your intuition because you're being watched over again. It feels in this energy, it feels in this energy there's a need to get clarity on a situation. There's a blessing that the, this is hope, faith, renewal, reasons to be optimistic. So it definitely feels for some of you, you're not tapping into some kind of resources that you're capable of. And we have the Nine of Pentacles and the Knight of Coins. It feels like a job offer, business offer, contract. Um, client win, new business, call it what you will. Um, but the Knight brings change, positive change, monetary change. Um, and it definitely feels in this energy with the Nine of Pentacles, there is an opportunity with the magician, you know, these cards are so beautiful, with the magician who understands how to change base metal to gold. He's the alchemist, is saying that you're the alchemist. You have the opportunity to change something negative to gold. So there's an offer coming and it's to do with some of these hopes, dreams and wishes. I mean, you know, the, it feels like there is actual multiple opportunity. Um, it's almost like it's hanging out there in the ether and the universe is trying to lead you towards new hopes, dreams and wishes here. It feels to do with money and career, finances, but there is definitely some kind of hidden blessing that's coming your way. Definitely an energy of you really need to trust your intuition here um, in terms of where you're being led. It feels like a reevaluation is needed. Open your mind to new perspectives, new roads, new paths, because there's real potential. And that's what you're being told. And it results in a concrete offer. And you know, this is material success. 
The nine of pentacles is good in terms of money. Um, it's an abundant energy. It's somebody who has worked hard to earn every single one of those pentacles and stands in their own abundance. Yeah, so it, it feels, and they feel pretty good about it. So, you know, there's an opportunity from feeling pretty bad to feeling pretty good. I mean, there's a, a specific energy change as well. Let me pull you a final card. Okay, what do we have, please, angels, spirits, guide? What is the message people need to hear the most? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I love it when this card appears, and it always works well with the magician because it's transformation. This fairy tells you to surrender to a transformation in your life that's happening for your highest good. Embrace your transformation. The best is yet best is yet to come. And where you place your focus right now determines this success coming to you. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful day for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.